Hi, I'm Dr. G. Bozanzo, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the very complex life cycle of the human liver fluke, Clonorchis sinensis. The human liver fluke is an animal. It's a flatworm in the class of parasites known as Trematoda. And in the case of the liver fluke, they're found throughout southeastern Asia. Uh, people infected by the liver fluke may display no symptoms at all. If they do display symptoms, they may include gut pain, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, painful gallstones, jaundice, and after prolonged exposure, the person may even develop uh, cancer of the bile ducts. So let's begin the life cycle with an infected human. The, the human may have several adult flukes living in their liver and bile ducts. The flukes themselves are only about 20 millimeters long and up to four millimeters wide. As is usual, this person will on occasion defecate. This feces, if left untreated, may find its way into a body of fresh water, which is exactly what the fluke wants. Because in that feces are eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. Boku de eggs. Many, many, many multiple eggs. Eggs galore. Eggs out the wazoo. A crazy number of eggs. Eggs of the liver fluke that may hatch into that first growth stage, the myricidium. The myricidia are swimming larvae that will look for the first intermediate host, a snail. In the snail, things get very complex as there are three separate spore stages, the sporocyst, the redia, and the cercaria. Well, in blah, 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 blah. The cercaria are modal and will swim looking for the second intermediary host, a fish. The cercaria may attach the scales or burrow into the skin of the fish into the muscles where they will insist and form another stage in the life cycle, a metacercarium. What in blah, 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 blah. Along comes a fisher human who catches the infected fish and takes it home to eat or to feed to somebody else. An adventurous human may come along that prefers to eat the fish raw or maybe undercooked. And again, they're playing into the liver fluke's trap. The metacercaria will emerge in the small intestine and develop into adult liver flukes that will infect the liver and bile ducts of the new human host. And the cycle is complete. In summary, adult liver flukes in the human liver lay eggs in the bile ducts that get passed out in feces. In fresh water, these eggs can hatch into parasitia, which can then infect a snail. In the snail, they will change stages three times First in a sporocyst, then into redia, then into cercaria, which leave the snail. Cercaria that can then find a fish and either live on the scales or burrow into the fish's muscle and form a metacercaria. The metacercaria are what a human eats in raw or undercooked fish, which will then hatch in the small intestine to form new adult liver flukes. Thanks for watching. And I hope you aren't currently eating undercooked or raw fish as you watch this because even though I probably don't know you personally, I don't wish for you to get clonorchiasis.